Hello pilots of the internet and welcome to Foldable Flight. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to fold a rocket, which is an absolutely exceptional paper airplane that flies over 100 feet. Now I do have two announcements to make. And the first of those is that we currently have a sale going on where if you buy Foldable Flight's incredible paper airplanes from foldableflight.com, you are going to get a bonus template pack with your order. That means you will get twice as much folding paper at no extra cost. So if you're thinking about getting the book, now is the best time to buy. The other announcement is that we just launched a Foldable Flight Spanish channel. So if you're watching our videos, but your preferred language is Spanish, be sure to check out that channel. There's a link in the description below. Let's get into the video. Now, as you can see, Rocket is just one of the coolest looking paper airplanes you are ever going to fold. I absolutely love the proportions of this plane. And even better, it locks together in its three-dimensional shape, making this thing exceptionally aerodynamic. Now, it does look amazing as it is, but if you support me on patreon.com slash foldable flight, you can download and print off a template so you can fold one that looks like this rather than using a regular sheet of paper. And not only do you get this template if you support me, you'll get access to over 70 other templates as well. So that's a great deal for just $4 a month. With all of that said, let's see this plane in flight and then I'll teach you how to fold it. The throwing technique for rocket is important. If you accelerate it too quickly, the wings will deform and it won't fly very well. So think about accelerating it really smoothly. And until you get your throwing technique really dialed in, throw it more gently than you would throw another plane shaped like this. You can see I'm even holding my arm pretty straight and throwing it overhead as a way of smoothing out my throwing motion. All you'll need in order to fold rocket is a sheet of eight and a half by 11 or A4 paper. If you are using A4 paper, you're going to want to begin just by folding about the top two and a half centimeters down. And it'll look like this. Aside from that step, the two are identical. So you can follow along now just by folding the right edge to the left edge. Open it up, and now you'll fold your top edge to the bottom. Open it up once again, and now just fold your top edge to that crease you just made. And your paper should look like this. We're now going to fold this edge here into the center, but leave just a couple millimeters as a gap. So you can see about how I'm doing mine here. Make your something like this, where your edge is parallel to the center crease, but not touching it. And do the same thing on the other side. Okay, and your plane should look like this. Now fold this edge here to that edge and you're not going all the way to the center once again try to control your layers and actually land this edge on that edge that you have below it just leaving a gap between that edge and the center and do the same thing on the other side Okay, and your plane should look like this. Now we're going to flip the paper over, and I want you to find the point where this crease here is intersecting the edge, and you're going to be folding from that point there down to where this center crease intersects your bottom edge. So we're just gonna start pulling our layers there, and then kind of swing them into alignment, and I'm finding that point right there where the center crease intersects the back edge. And I'll crease like so. And then I'll go ahead and undo that and do the same thing on the other side. And open that up. Your plane should look like this. And we're now going to flip it over back into this orientation. And I'm going to work on one side at a time here. Basically, I want to reverse this crease and we're going to be doing an inside reverse for this whole side. So you'll see I'm going to start by reversing that crease all the way up to this point. 
And then while it's kind of lying open like this, I'll reverse this crease here. And then you don't have to reverse the last crease, it's already in the correct orientation. And there you've performed your inside reverse fold. And now I'm going to fold the portion of this that crosses the center. I'm actually going to pull it really tight to this layer here and go right down to this point back here, just like that. And there, you can see my right side is finished for now. I'm going to do all of those steps on the left side. So I'm opening this up and reversing this crease right here. And then while that's kind of open, I'm reversing this crease here. And then that last crease is in the correct orientation. So you can lie it flat like this. And we'll now fold this back across. So we're pulling it tight to that edge and going to this back point right there. Okay, and now we need to inside reverse fold these flaps that we just did. So I'm going to push my right flap to the left, open this up, and you can see this uh, crease here is actually in the correct orientation already. I just need to reverse this main crease right there and this crease here as I push that back to the other side. and your plane should look like this. Now we are ready to go ahead and fold our wings. So I'm going to fold this plane in half, just like that. And when you fold your wings, you're going to want to start right at the nose and go just below this little intersection between the wings and this leading body of the plane. So you're aiming about there and then you'll just slope it up towards the back. So you can see what my wings look like and anything really close to what I do will be great for you as well. So there you go, you can see the exact path of my crease. Once you do one side, just flip it over and fold along that same line on the other wing. And you can see my plane is getting really close to being finished at this point, but we do have a few more steps. We need to create that locking mechanism that holds it all together. And to do that, we're going to look at this point here. You can see uh, this is my wing crease and there's kind of this flap. Basically, I want to find where that edge intersects the wing crease. And I'm going to start a crease there that goes right to this corner here. And then I'll tuck the portion of that that goes past the layer immediately behind it, just right around that layer, right like that. And I'll do the same thing on this other side, or at least some of the same thing. I'm starting with my point right where that edge intersects the wing crease, increasing to this back point. Now, instead of wrapping this around the layer behind it, I'm just folding the section that crosses that layer back across like that. Okay, and now I'm going to fold this edge here to land along that wing crease. I'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay, now I want to reverse this crease here and flip that behind. Just training the crease here, and I'm going to unfold that back into this position. So, with our plane in this position here, we actually have this tab which we can tuck into the pocket that we've created on that side. So I'm kind of closing the plane up and taking this little short tab 
and tucking it into that pocket. And that'll be the first stage of our lock. So you can see I'm just kind of wrapping that around into there. And that already kind of holds the plane together, but you can see it's a little bit loose. So the next step will be basically folding both of these at the same time, but you can see that's going to wrap around this like that. And then the trick is just to do both of those locks at the same time. So with yours in this position here, wrapped around like that. Now we're going to kind of look in the back and I know this is tricky. I know it's going to be hard to see what I'm doing, but I'm pushing those two folds and locking it all together along that crease we've already made. And now when I fold the wings back down, you'll see that the plane is held in its three-dimensional shape. And now all we have left to do is fold the winglets. So I like to fold my winglets just past this point here and parallel to the center. So you can see I make them just a little bigger than if I went to that point and I try to make that parallel to my center crease. If you're using the template, that'll be marked for you. And once I do one side, I can just fold the other side to match. And there you go. This is a finished rocket. I advise you to kind of set your wings at a really flat angle so that when you're looking at it from the back, it's really flat across. And then you probably don't really need any up elevator. If you find that you need any up elevator, you can apply that here. And it may roll because of the asymmetry of the lock. You can make adjustments if it was rolling counterclockwise. Just bend this here to the right a little bit. If it is rolling clockwise, then you're just going to bend that a little to the left. And with that, thank you so much for watching this video, and good luck flying your plane. Thank you so much to all of my patrons who are supporting this channel and making these videos possible. You can become the pilot of your favorite foldable flight paper airplane, and your name will appear next to the paper airplane you choose in each of my YouTube videos. So head over to patreon.com foldableflight and join the foldable fleet today.